Hello, I'm Stu with Productive Computing demonstrating the G Manipulator plugin, the easiest way to take control of Google Mail, Contacts, Calendar, and Tasks with your FileMaker solution. This video shows how G Manipulator can be used to push and pull information with Google Contacts. It is assumed that the plugin is installed, registered, and authenticated. If you aren't sure about these, refer to those videos here. I have the free demo file and Google side by side. There are currently several contacts in Google and none in FileMaker. With just one click of the Pull Contacts button, all contacts are now in FileMaker almost instantly. You can see all of the details for a contact are the same in both places. FileMaker has the Google Contact ID, so now when you make any changes to the contact in FileMaker, you can simply click the Push Contact button to update Google. You even have the option to push the found set or just the current record. We will choose the current record this time and get a confirmation of success. When we refresh the Google account, we see the contact has been updated to match FileMaker. Let's create another contact in Google and pull into FileMaker. If we add another contact, and click the Pull Contacts button again. The new contact is now in FileMaker. Now let's create in FileMaker and push to Google. We can create a new contact in FileMaker by clicking the New Contact button, add some contact details. When we click the Push Contact button, we again have the choice of pushing the found set or just the current record. We will choose the current record, get the confirmation screen, refresh the Google screen, and see it has been pushed correctly. You can also delete contacts in Google from FileMaker. Suppose you found a duplicate contact for some reason. Simply click the Delete Contact button, confirm the deletion, and when we refresh Google, the unnecessary contact is gone. Google uses labels for categories of contacts. Those are shown in FileMaker in the Contact Folder area. Let's create a new label in Google and add a few contacts to that label. Even though the new label is not in the folder list now, the demo file will refresh the list automatically by clicking the Authenticate button. But since the free demo file is completely unlocked, you can go under the hood and see there's a specific script to refresh contact folders. Let's run that script and then see that the folder list is updated. When we select the new category and pull contacts, the group of contacts from Google shows up as expected. Google does not need to be open in order to work. I'll close Google, create a new contact. Let's also set the occupation field for a few records as an example. Click Push Contacts, and this time we will click the Found Set. Get the confirmation screen, and when we open Google, we see all of those contacts are now a part of that group. This means all of your information is available and accurate on any device that accesses your Google information. This is just a small sample of the possibilities. The fully unlocked demo includes the complete developer's guide and function list so you can dive in as deep as you like. 
Check out the other videos on how the G Manipulator plugin works seamlessly with the other aspects of Google Accounts, or click the Buy Now to start saving time and money with G Manipulator. If you want more detailed training, head to Productive Computing University to learn as much as possible, as fast as possible, to decrease the learning curve and really save time and money and make the most of this amazing plugin.